Words that a lot of people in St. Bernard and Norwood are saying today after last night's rain swamped their cars and their homes. Good evening, everybody. The high water is gone again today. It's all about the cleanup and more rain. We're hearing that yes, on the roof. Yes, we can hear we? it right now. At least four inches of rain fell yesterday within a two to three hour period. That caused power outages and just overwhelmed the sewer system and flowed rapidly through area streets. Many of you shared your pictures with us during the storm. Wild, dark, ominous clouds rolled in first. And then came this deluge with hail for some. The rain flooded many parts of the tri-state. This is Hopeful Church Road in Florence that was covered in high water. And some of the most dramatic pictures were taken in Norwood where water was flowing through the streets. A car was all but submerged there on the Norwood lateral. Look at that. And then in St. Bernard, some of the worst flooding was on Greenlee Avenue and that is where Local 12's Joe Webb joins us as he begins our team coverage today. Joe. Well, Cammie, we're just actually about a half block off Greenlee. I can show you what some of the damage that the water did coming down Johnson Street, just ripping up chunks of asphalt, tearing it up. This was under several feet of water yesterday at about 7 o'clock at night. You can see this retaining wall that's been here for years also just washed out by the water and fallen down. Several cars, dozens of homes swamped by a flash flood like they've never seen in this neighborhood before. The pictures from last night are frightening. The pictures from today are heartbreaking. Tony Sablehouse and her dog Bailey are high and dry today. During last night's storm, Bailey got scared so they went to the basement until the water rushing down Greenlee Avenue came inside. Oh brother, look at this mess. I can't believe this. Half of this stuff was in the garage. Sable House has owned the home for more than 40 years and has never seen it flood. Last night, she took in four feet of water. She lost her car, two furnaces, and tons of belongings. She's not sure what's next. I don't know. I did the best I can. Look at my washer, my dryer. Uh, uh, we'll get over it, I guess. We do everything else, right? Yes, ma'am. Videos taken last night are like horror movies. Flooded cars, a river flowing through a cemetery gate to the street into people like Erica Forrester's homes like a thief. Remember that TV I was telling y'all about? Boom, there it is, floating around. The wall behind Greenlee Garage was a waterfall last night. Today, it's a pile of rubble. The police chief stopped by to check on them today. He grew up in St. Bernard and is still mystified by the storm. Cars floating in the water up here, a torrential waterfall behind this building we're standing in front of. Uh, nothing I've ever seen, nothing ever close. Today, still in shock, the folks in St. Bernard started to clean up the mess. Grateful to be alive, but puzzled by what nature delivered and how they'll get back to normal. Of course, you know, we don't have flood insurance and most people don't. And I think that's something that really needs to be looked into for even areas like this because the sewer drains are not that great. You know, they just can't take that overflow. And last night, they obviously couldn't maintain the overflow. Chief Muller says one of his neighbor's rain gauge caught five inches of rain, more than five inches of rain in about a three-hour period yesterday evening. And as Cammy, you know, it's been a really strange summer as far as the weather goes in the tri-state. But what happened last night in St. Bernard and Norwood is really just hard to believe. Reporting live in St. Bernard, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Cammie? And you know, it's hard to watch those interviews that you were doing with these people because your, your heart just goes out to them. It's got to be hard for you to sit there and talk to them when they're obviously so distressed. I'd rather talk to people about just about anything else than tragedy hitting their home and losing the place that they live, especially when they've put a lot of time and money and, and effort and energy into it like a lot of these people well like all of these people have sure I'd rather talk to them about their kids and ball scores and you know the Bengals uh, anything but this but you know what I got to tell you these people were tough they were working they're gonna be fine uh, 
It's just that they've got it. I mean, they got dealt a really rotten hand by the weather last night. They sure did. A lot of work ahead of them. Joe, thank you. St. Bernard Elmwood Place Junior and Senior High School are closed, but the elementary schools will be open tomorrow. Roger Bacon High School will also be closed again tomorrow. 